everyone welcome back you are watching the data labs my name is dilip if you are dealing with data every day and preparing reports then collating several excel file into one master file is a common task if you are performing consolidation activity manually then it's incredibly tedious and error prone you need to be very careful while copying and pasting data from individual file to master file also it uh, will take a lot of productive hours in just collating the file you can replace the manual uh, task with some automated collator developed in macro but if you are not comfortable with visual basic programming language then it will be difficult for you to make an accurate automated collator so in this video we will uh, learn about how to create a dynamic and flexible automated consolidator in excel within 5 minutes without using a single line of macro code let me show you the folder where i have kept some files which needed to be compiled into one master file so here you can see that uh, we have four different excel files let me open any of the excel file and see the columns available here we have employee name is city department and salary in this particular file like file 1 i have used fictitious name like employee 1 2 3 up to 40 so in each and every excel file we have 40 employee i have used i have followed the same pattern in every excel file let me open rest of all these three files one by one and show you the columns available in this in this file so you can see that i am following the same pattern in all these files okay and this is the last that is file 4 right so as of now we have only four files and we need to consolidate this into one master file later on we will update you know some more files in this particular folder and then we will click on refresh uh, to collect all those files including the previous four and the addition after developing the automated tracker so let me close this file and create a new excel file and save this file with the name automated consolidator let's take a path from here so save this file at different location not in the uh, in the folder where we have kept the files to collate the data there is no need to uh, select the macro enable file you can select excel workbook simple excel workbook because we are not going to use any single line of you know macro code here just click save now rename the sheet 1 to master data okay go to the data tab and under get and transform a uh, group just click on new query and then click on from file and then go to the from folder now go to the folder where we have kept the file and this is the folder just copy the location like the path of parent folder that is root uh, raw data just move to the excel file and in this particular window just paste the location now click on okay so once you click on okay then you will see a window showing all information like content name extension date accessed date modified date created attributes and folder path So these are the information related to uh, whatever the files are available in our folder that has been provided in uh, path. You can see that uh, there are four different types of buttons available here. This first is combine, second one is load, third one is edit and cancel. So we just need to click on edit button. Once you click on edit button, then power window. Uh, 
Power Query window will appear. In this window, you can see that the same information like content, name, extension, date access, date modified, date created, attributes and folders are available. And apart from this, you can see that a, a query setting window appear in the right side. And these are the steps which are whatever the step we will perform here that will start reflecting over here. We need to restrict the file type so that consolidator only combines excel files. Suppose uh, in this folder you have just kept excel file and someone uh, you know by mistake uh, you know keep some pdf file or you know csv file then uh, this particular consolidator will start picking that file as well and that will give the error so for, to fix that we need to apply restriction on extension so to apply a restriction just click on this drop down and then click on text filter and then select equals okay and in this first drop down just select the equals and from second drop down just select the xlsx and now click on ok so as soon as you will uh, apply the filter on this extension it means you are putting some restriction so that this consolidator only picks xlsx file to consolidate the data and as soon as you will apply the filter you can notice that uh, there is one more steps have been added you no know, has been added in applied steps that is filtered rows we will discuss about all these steps later on in this video now we need to uh, combine all these files like x uh, file 1 file 2 file 3 and file 4 into one master file to do that you know you just need to click on double arrow down button that is combined files button just click on this combine files button and once you click on this button the real magic starts power query starts the processing of combining all the files available in selected folder and show a combined file window from this window please select the data and then click on ok so basically this is the sample file and uh, example file is the first file is showing so let's click on ok once you click on ok power query combines all the files and it will sh show all the data in a one excel file that is raw data so here can you notice that you know this is the combined file you know let's uh, move downward and see whether all employees are reflecting over here or not so you can see that it has all the files like x file 1 file 2 file 3 and file 4 and as of now we have only four files and these are the employees name and the age city department and salary in query setting uh, pen there are several steps has been applied and all these set steps have been recorded in AM language. So if you are comfortable uh, with AM language, they can, then you can edit all those settings and all those steps. So to do that, you just need to go to home tab and then click on advanced editor. In advanced editor window, you can see that the AM language code. You do not need to do anything here this is only to show the steps recorded in AM language let's click on cancel button to close this window now to load the consolidated data to excel file for further use please go to home tab and then click on uh, the drop down button like close and load to and then select the close and load to In this load to window just select the table and then click on load so once you will uh, click on load uh, then uh, 
power query start showing all the table uh, all the data in in next sheet just uh, rename the sheet to master data master data now remove the previous master data excel sheet so here you can see that entire consolidated data started appearing you know so just uh, let's see these are the four files which we have used and these are the employee so this particular table is dynamically connected with the power query window the codes are uh, the steps which we performed so once you once you right click over here and then refresh then power query start all the processing which we performed while you know uh, getting the data from that folder and combining all these files so in future whenever we will add some files in that particular folder and then just click on refresh button here then it will start combining all those files available in that folder and show all those you know records collated records here let's move to the folder where we have kept all the four files and make one additional file to to see that whether this uh, consolidator is picking the data from the new files or not so let's copy the file for and make a duplicate copy of this now rename this file from file 4 copy to file 5 now open this file and make the changes like employee name so here we have 160 employee so let's, let's start with 161 and just use the fill end of features to fill the employee details press ctrl s and w now we are in automated collator so as of now you can see that we have only four files right click on this particular table and click on refresh or alternatively you can go to data tab and then click on refresh so let's right click on this particular table and click on refresh so as soon as you will click on refresh then you can notice that you know, we have five different uh, file earlier we have you know we had file one two three four but now we have file five as well and all the information all the records from a file five have been started reflecting over here so let's move to folder the root folder where we have kept a file and just create a new subfolder rename it subfolder you can make it any name right just click uh, select the file 5 copy this file and open the subfolder and paste it just rename this file from file 5 to file 6 now double click on this file to open now change the employee name so as of now we have employee 200 so first employee in this file should be 201 201 let's use the fill handle feature to fill the employee details now you can see that we have 240 employee starting from 201 press ctrl s and ctrl w to close this file now we are again in automated collator so as of now we have only five files right so let's right click over this table and select the refresh so as soon as you select the refresh then this particular consolidator start picking the data from the root folder and that is the root folder it means raw file raw data so it does not matter how many subfolders are available in this particular root folder right 
so if any of the file is in subfolder or any of the folder and other file which are available in root folder all the file will be get consolidated by this tool so let's move to the excel window and see let's click on source now you can see that you know we have one two three four five six files file six is available in the subfolder and the same goes for all the records available in all these six files have started reflecting here so this is a dynamic uh, consolidator it does not mean where you have kept this file whether it's in subfolder or parent folder it will start picking all the data available in in the root folder and it will consolidate all the files into one file that is master data file as we have already applied restriction that it will only pick xlsx file so there is no need to worry whether you have kept some word file pdf file or notepad file this particular tool will only pick the excel file okay you just need to take care that you know the column header should remain same otherwise it will give error so uh, as uh, this is the collated file and it has all the entire uh, data and it is dynamically connected with the root folder so you can utilize this uh, this table to prepare the pivot report or some graph or any other reports right and that will be totally dynamic you do not need to go to that folder and copying and pasting uh, from that uh, no, all those files into one master file and then prepare the reports now every activity has been here whatever the activity we performed entire activity has been you know automated by m language and you do not need to bother about those you know codes uh, this is very simple steps and this is one of the dynamic uh, way to consolidate or collate the data into one master file without using a single line of visual basic application code so this was all about developing a collator without using visual basic or macro code hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful thank you for watching please like share comment and subscribe have a great day